Oh, come on. So what in the world is going on with interest rates? Uh, and it's interesting that we use the word world when the world's been playing such an intricate role in regards to what's going on with interest rates here in the United States. But as of late, uh, the average interest rate we have moving from the 3.5% level to the 4% level. And um, big deal, you may say. Well, it's about $30 per $100,000 difference in a monthly mortgage payment. And for first-time home buyers, yes, that could be a significant big deal. And even in particular with regard to qualifying for a real estate loan. Um, so what's been happening at home? You know, the Federal Reserve members started commenting last week that the Fed could start tapering off their quantitative easing three program and their purchase of mortgage-backed securities. They're purchasing $85 billion worth of mortgage-backed securities and treasuries every month. And just the word tapering off just freaked the markets out. And there was uh, just some uncertainty with regard to what Ben Bernanke said to Capitol Hill in that in his statements he indicated one thing, but in the question and answering session, he indicated another. And just that uncertainty created the markets to completely panic and uh, lose interest, so to speak, in purchasing mortgage-backed securities. And we've lost 472 basis points in mortgage-backed security values. That's almost four and three-quarter points difference in pricing in real estate loans since May 1st. And so what started happening late Wednesday and early Thursday is a phenomenon called negative convexity. And basically it's when mortgage-backed security investors are just kind of taking their losses and still selling mortgage-backed security, sometimes even at a loss, but just to get rid of everything they've already lost and kind of start with an even slate, so to speak. So that's what was happening and we hope we'd hit a bottom today. And you can see from this new chart that the green is that we're bouncing back up and currently we're about up 47 basis points, but remember we lost 130 plus 144 two days in a row. So getting back to our 7.35 interest rates, which we may see again, but I don't think we're going to hit three and a half again, ever again, possibly. But getting back maybe to 3.875, 3.75 may occur once this uh, shock to the market has an opportunity to just kind of slow down and relax and realize kind of the overcompensation perhaps that occurred from these comments from Ben Bernanke. So stay tuned. And uh, keep in mind our Keys on Time program where we guarantee to close in 21 days. Our Fund by Fax program where we scan after the signed documents, we scan the documents in so that we may fund the next day. Um, and, you know, we're closing deals on average of 16.87 days or five days early on uh, most escrows. So keep that in mind. Look forward to working with you. All right, take care. Have a good day.